Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another wonderful day of Charlotte Wars Adventure, Seven Days to Die. It's been a while since I played. I had a little vacation there, and yeah, now I'm back, and we're ready to rock and roll. So, where do we leave off? Well, we are trying to smelt down this stuff, trying to turn this stuff into glass, trying to smelt this other crap too, but it's just not going down fast enough. It's going to be morning before you know it, so I'm going to throw some of this smeltable stuff into a different chest. We also have a bunch of food there that we can consume, farm stuff, and I think we have a new wrench that I think we we created, maybe? I don't know, can't remember. I'm getting confused with the, the multiplayer one. Have some iron, which I think we will snag. I think we're going to run into the city today. But today is day 19, so it's dog horde day. Not sure if that's good. We're going to place this reinforced drawbridge because I definitely want to start using that to run around with. So definitely need to do that. Let's throw this stuff into here. Uh, the flesh we can throw into. Just trying to see where a good spot would be for that. That's for making fertilizer, right? So let's throw it into here, I guess. Potassium can be thrown in wherever the gunpowder would be, which would be potentially in here with the coal. Get, uh, so it's morning time now. Let's throw this dirt stuff into here. And I think we have everything. So let's do this. Reinforce drawbridge. Let's turn this, this forge off. Okay, good. I can throw this pickaxe in there because we're making a new one, or at least I thought I was. Yeah, right here, 30 seconds. Okay, so let's place this bad boy. How's this going to look? Let's see what it looks like. Uh, okay, okay. Um, let's see here. How will I be able to place this? Can I just place it against... Hmm, okay, okay. So let's, let's place some of these down here. Let's... Pick up that block, that one, and that one, that one. I think it's three wide, or is it four? No, it looks like it's going to be four wide, so we have to actually do that. Come on, pick it up. Pick it up! Okay. And I think... Oh, we got a zombie we're going to take care of, I think. Hello, hello, good morning. So, how's everybody doing? You know, everyone grab your drinks and tasty treats. Because we're going to place that drawbridge here in a moment. I think I left the forge running, didn't I? Yes, I did, I did. So, to place these bad boys, I think we need to go at a different angle. Um, see how it's... Oh, man. I think I need one more space. So, let's actually pick up... Let's pick up some of these blocks. Maybe it's because I have these wood frames in the way. Let's see what happens now. I've never placed one of these, so definitely comment or post if you think I'm placing it wrong. Weird. I wonder if I need to do this. Let's see if we can... Oh, don't hit me. Let's see if we can do it like this. Uh, maybe this is too close. Let's pick up the cobblestone frames here. Okay, and now how about that? Huh. Okay, maybe just pick up another set of frames. There will be dogs. I'm, I'm, I'm freaking out. Is it because I'm cooling down? Yeah, it looks like I am cooling down. We'll take that off, and I think everything else... Yeah, now it's increasing again. So why can I not place this thing? This thing is a biatch to place. Cause I would place it like that. Or do I have to put like, one of these things like this? Okay, buddy. Why are you not... Or do you have to rotate it? Uh, how about... Okay, how about like this? 
Yes, this is very, very, very challenging. At least for me it is. You might be laughing at me. Ah, look at you, dumbass. You need to put it you know, you know, this way, not that way. This is how you place it. So easy. Sure, sure, sure. Come on. Oh, oh. Oh, come on. I want to fall to my death. Come on, let's pick it up. Okay, let's take this apart a little bit. Can we just place it? And will it just stay there? I want to place it like that. I'm worried that if I place it and screw this up, then that's it, you know? Um, well, whatever. That looks like a good spot. Bam. Oh, shit. Well, there goes a waste of all those resources. Yep. Oh, man. So, obviously, we need to put more to reinforce it. At least it didn't destroy everything. Oh, crap. Well, that stinks. So, in the meantime, we restore back to the old way. I was hoping we would build that. Like, what the hell? Now I'm going to get all those mechanical parts. It's like 2,000. Let's take a look here. Drawbridge. Reinforced drawbridge. So the wood, the forged iron, springs, mechanical parts. So that's the, the trick. So we need to do probably a store run. Like run to the the town and you do some looting there probably briefly now with the wrench. Get some more mechanical parts. Replace the wrench that we have. Oh, this is so brutal. Look at this, man. Oh, uh, so, ah, uh, that really bugs me. I thought that this would do it. Maybe I need to put concrete on it. Okay, well, I'm going to hop on here, and I'm going to make my way over to the town, and I'll meet you over there. Here we are. We are back at her. So, where are we going to go? Well, let's cross over to this side, and I think there's still just some RV parks, maybe... Uh, the the places that have the shopping carts, I think that's over down here somewhere. Because there should still be a bunch of those bad boys kicking around. There's maybe even this RV park. So let's actually hop out. Let's take care of a little bit of business here. Let's use up some arrows. Come on. Yeah, it's been a while, so it might be a little bit rusty. Yeah, okay. Looks like we are good to rock and roll. Come on, boys. Boys and girls. Come. Bring out your dead. Bring out your dead. Hello. 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 Is it this cheeky? Looks like in 15.1, that's what we're using. Looks like they fixed the sounds a little bit. The, they sound a lot more clear. And they're not sneaking up on me as easily as they did. I'm using some arrows because I wanted to give that a try. Looks like the loot is increasing slowly on these guys. Got some water. Uh, got some more stuff. There's a nurse zombie coming. We'll try and take her out with this. Whoa! But trying to do it how someone else does it. Trying to make it interesting. Not that that matters, but... Oh, hello, hello. Hi. Bam! That's... You're down and out for the gowns. Oh, hey, Chicky. I was also almost thinking of increasing the zombie spawns. Because I find this a bit... I know, it's starting to get easy, because I've been playing with Lushable Echo, and, and Jace Machine, and you know, Evil Giraffe, Dugamus, and Commander Keen, and, and even some guy, and it was just a whole lot of fun. Hello, hello, Chicky. I'm glad that she triggered the, gra the, the grass. So it was a whole lot of fun with them, and I truly appreciate the time that we have with them. It's just, it's a lot of good fun. 
Uh, we do some multiplayer, some PvP action, so if we encounter each other, we're going to kill each other, which is kind of fun. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. People could team up with each other, but lately it's been just kind of like a PvP style. And nothing, anything riveting or exciting. It's just... Is that all the zombies? It's just uh, we've been playing it that way, right? Because there's the achievements through Steam that give you stuff for killing stuff. So for killing people or, or zombies or, or, or all of that stuff. There's even a distance traveled type of thing. Yeah, achievements, your Steam achievements. So for all of you achievement hunters out there. But yeah, no, it's nice to be recording again. It's nice to be doing this. So I'm just going to run around here with this running as it is we do need some springs so where do we get springs from what do these things give I can't remember do we get springs from these at all get pipes Let's get mechanical we might have to loot a few of these bad boys I don't see any springs off that oh, come on some more zombies Bam. oh you're still alive got that Come on. Hope there's no dogs that come. That would be brutal. Whoa, this guy's big. Did they change, you think, the the perspective? Because it feels different. I don't know, maybe it's just me because it's been a while. I don't know. There we go. Oh, there's some food. It's been really good loot, actually. Hopefully the, the, the bike is empty. There we go. She's toast. It's been a lot, like. Come on. Huh. Scary to to hear them but not actually see anybody. I'm just gonna run around the, the structure here a little bit. Just need to make sure we make them all spawn, right? There is a car over here to the left. Gonna quickly run over here, and we're going to gonna see about oh, searching it. Why not? Yet. Yeah. Oh, there's a radiator. We're completely full on stuff. So let's actually do this. We're gonna eat a bunch of food. Okay. And then we are going to drink because we have lots and lots of drinking drink uh, or drinky drink. Uh, I do want to, I'm tempted at dismantling the car, but we already have a lot of pieces here, so let's actually scrap these down, let's, this will turn into paper, I think, oh, and another thing, I am a little bit sick, so I apologize if anything slips through, a cough or anything like that, I'll do my best to edit, but yeah, you know, we got back from vacation, and yeah, we all got sick because the temperature difference is basically where we live. We live with centigrade, and it's about a 50 degree difference from where we visited to back here. So yeah, nevertheless, we got the cliche your vacation cold that happens after a wonderful trip to an amazing warm location. So yeah. Yeah, nothing special, just continuing destroying these things. Everything seems nice and quiet, and we do have space for stuff. We actually do get quite a bit of pieces of stuff, like pipes, you know, iron. Oh, there looks like a flashlight, or a headlight. So now let's just deposit some of the stuff. Basically, I'm going to just attack this RV park here. Looks like it has pieces and stuff to... Yeah, good. It is empty. I am so glad. Let's actually... Oh, do I not have the leather? Oh, do I not have the skill in this? See, I get the two I mixed up. The multiplayer with the single player. Yeah, I'm notorious for that. So let's throw a bunch of this stuff into here. We'll just scrap that. Brass, glass... So we are getting a lot of mechanical parts, which is good. And throw the headlight in there. Perfect. So I'm going to carry on with... Where are we? I'm going to carry on with this whole RV park thingy. We're going to do the usual looting. I'll probably just do that off camera here. 
Because I don't know. Oh, this is unlocked. That's I. I never even thought to check for that. Cool. We got a bed in here. This more another refrigerator to dismantle. Maybe we'll get springs out of that. Maybe cabinets, commercial toilet with some poop. I think we will even get stuff from this. Uh, not really that much. Is there a wrench? No. How about anything? Any, no. No. Uh, nothing in there. Look at it. Iron bars. This, see, this one's locked, and we tried to break in from that side instead of checking the back door. Oh boy, oh boy. That is funny. So let's actually check this one. Maybe it'll be the same thing. That one's locked. Or is there an unlocked side? Let's take a quick peek here. No, see, this doesn't have another door. Just that one. Huh, that's cool. Well, I'm going to carry on here, and I'll be back when I'm done. You get springs from the cars. I'm continuing my progress, and bam, see there's a few springs. So you get it from the layer with the coloring, it looks like. We'll leave that one here. So if we quickly take a peek, we also have a small engine. Nice, nice. A lot of gas, a little bit of gas. And three springs, so... It's, it's this layer, uh, not this layer, but this layer right here. So we'll search the sedan and we will I'll show you. See, one spring, and you also get oil and stuff, cloth. It's another engine. Um, oh, and even a brass radiator. So we better deposit this stuff back into our bike. Because why not? We need all the loot. And yeah. Anyways, I'll be back unless there's something interesting. Okay, so looks like we got all that. Oh, there's an airdrop today. Airdrop. Uh, where is it? See, do we, we hear it, but we don't see the plane. So that's why I have it marked to show me where, and it's way over there. So let's actually go after that. We do have enough space, kind of, sort of. So we're kind of done here. We're, we're done enough. I've dismantled enough stuff to, to collect enough pieces. And let's actually go after that, that the airdrop on day 19. That's very exciting. <laughs> Hopefully it all works out. We also found a nail gun schematic. Awesome. So now we have that, which is amazing. We'll have to make that for our wonderful base. And hopefully we will make another big huge thingy <laughs> oh man so let's head out on this road here and we're just gonna go I'm not gonna worry about doggies too much because I don't think it really matters and I apologize if there's kids crying in the background but that's just the way it's been it's been uh, rough out here just for me that's why I haven't been recording either it's just from us being sick to family life, it's just, I don't know, it's, it's just very difficult. So I do this as a hobby. I do it because it's fun, because I can vent, because I can talk to people. That's is basically why we do this stuff. So some people think that's silly, but that's just the way, oh shit. This is like uh, another military base. Uh, with mines, probably most likely. That's so. Where is this? Oh, there's the airdrop. I see you. I see you. Whoa, let's back up a bit here. Okay, scary. There you see it. One, there's another dog. Come on. I'm ready for you, bastard. Looks like we picked up a SMG part. So, yeah. So, so Sayonar, mofos. Okay, there's uh, the army base. We don't want to blow up with their mini bike. That would be bad. So, let's see here. Here's the roads. It's cool. So, we got that airdrop as well. That was very productive. Killed a dog that came after us. Awesome, awesome. So it looks like we things are good, good. Things are on the up and up. 
So, 1300 hours. Well, I don't really feel too much like doing anything, so I'm actually going to head back to the base here. And, yeah, we're going to kind of move the loot inside and try and build another one of those things. Maybe we need to upgrade the area with concrete first. Maybe there's some sort of structural issue they are trying to put it up. Maybe I gotta put I gotta put some blocks underneath it as well. Maybe it just is trying to support itself on the two and it just didn't like it. it sucks that's that's how we have to learn, but hey, it's is alpha, so it's not like it matters. With alpha sixteen on the horizon, yeah, who knows, who knows? But you're just listening to the the, the sounds of a rambling man. <laughs> so yeah, I'll meet you back at the base. <laughs> Perfecto, so we are back, of course, and now let us try and take what we can. So no, no, no. Okay, I'm just going to run in what I have, <laughs> and then we'll be back out here. And I'm also going to do a quick check of resources, so let's actually do that. So we're going to need 100 forged iron, so I left it all running. Oh, God. Ah, uh, man, that's terrible. That's terrible. Oh, boy. Forged iron. Let's actually turn this off. Uh, well, I don't know. We need it on. Cause we need to make a hundred of these bad boys. Yeah, so we need to... Dang it. Silly me, silly me. Okay, we're going to need 2,000 wood. Not a big deal. Um, 20 springs and all that fun razzmatazz. So I'm going to do some inventory management, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back in. I do have the wood. I also harvested the the edible stuff, the, the farmable stuff, so that way we have more resources here. I'm going to just throw all this stuff into here. Uh, blueberries in there, the rotten meat, the potatoes. Looks like we have some leather, which goes into this one right here. That's where the leather hides go. And then the springs, we're going to need all the springs, we, oh boy. So how do we make more springs? Let's see here. Springs, because we need more of these bad boys. So you need forged steel and lump of coal. And I think forged steel we make in here. So if I go forward steel, and basically let's try and make a hundred of this stuff. Look at how much resources it's going to just drain. Oh goodness. So we're going to let this run, we're going to let it do its thing, and I think that's it for this episode. So thank you everybody for watching, hopefully you've enjoyed this as usual. If not, I apologize, but this is what I do, so yeah. So thank you everybody for watching, and I look forward to seeing you all in the next one, where we'll place the the thing, the drawbridge properly. <laughs> okay. Uh, can I put anything that I found? Oh, I can put this. Oh, look, 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 look. Oh boy, I think we can complete this. Let's do this right now before we finish this. Go assemble. Uh, we need the barrel. And then we need the parts. And bam, look at that. 251 complete. Excellent. Okay, looks like we have a gun. And let's grab the repair kit. Let's go like this. Go repair. And I think that... And, yeah, let's take a peek what this looks like. Oh, it's been so long. Yeah. Excellent, folks. Look at this. They're styling now. Can we... Do I have a mining helmet? I think I do. Let's wear this bad boy. And turn... Oh, and it looks like they fixed the mining helmet, which is awesome. It's not too bright. And here, let's see. Nice weapon. Excellent. Well, thank you everybody for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye-bye!